What exactly is 5G? Why is 5G such a game changer? When will it launch in India and importantly, how much will it cost? Hi there, I'm Sonal Merotra Kapoor and let's explain everything you need to know about 5G in under 5 minutes. So India's biggest ever spectrum auction or 5G, the fifth generation airwaves as it's called, has now kicked off. We've been hearing about 5G and how it could be a big game changer in India's digital growth, ushering in an era where the internet is at lightning fast speed. First off, a quick cheat sheet on what's really happening at the moment on the auction. There are about four huge players in the fray for the battle for the 5G spectrum. Now, Reliance Geo, Bharti Airtel, Vodafone Idea and the surprise element is Adani Enterprises. But when we say 5G spectrum, what exactly does it mean? It means 5G airwaves. Airwaves, well, it's basically radio frequencies which carry information for services like telecommunications and as the name suggests, it's in the air and thus completely wireless. So what has the government done? It is allocating various frequencies to the private sector and companies that bid for it. These companies, after winning the bids, will roll out the spectrum out as services like mobile and internet connectivity. The government this time around has a total of 72 gigahertz of airwaves worth 4.3 lakh crore on offer and the auction will be valid for 20 years. So that's the basics really. But what makes 5G so exciting, such a game changer? Well, 5G tech is expected to be 10 times faster than 4G, 30 times faster than 3G. It will change the speed of your downloads from hours to just seconds. And apart from improving your network speed by miles, 5G will also allow and in fact make it much greater number of devices to be connected at a faster network. It can support up to 1000 more devices per meter as compared to 4G. It will also enable more data gathering and thus sharing in real time. The 5G era will allow faster online payments, newer business technologies and speed up the development of numerous projects, propelling India to a truly faster, better experience. Now, this is what 5G auction, exactly why the 5G auction has attracted some of India's biggest business leaders. From Ambani's to the Adani's, all are gunning for it. After all, it could establish their dominance in the new digital space. So how exactly is the competition placed? Well, Reliance Geo has made the highest EMD or the earnest money deposit at 14,000 crores, followed by Bharti Airtel at 5,500 crores, followed by Vodafone Idea, which is 2,200 crores, and then comes Adani at 100 crores. Now, the EMD basically reflects the quantity of airwaves a company can bid for in the auction. And this is important. Why? Because it gives them eligibility in the entire mix of things. This time, a couple of new caveats have also been added to this entire auction mix. In a relief for tele companies, spectrum user charges have been removed. However, on the flip side, and this is what many have called an unprecedented move, spectrum for the first time in India will be allocated and will be up for deployment to private networks as well. This means that large tech companies can set up parallel captive 5G networks, not needing telecom carriers. Essentially, tech giants like Infosys, TCS, Tech Mahindra can set up their own private 5G networks. But remember, this is only for their internal consumption. Having understood that, let's move on very quickly to the key question, how soon can you and I actually get to experience 5G? The auction is expected to conclude by the end of July and the rollout of 5G services across various urban centers is also expected by the August of 2023. Experts believe that 5G service will initially be limited to metros and larger cities since only around 7% of India has 5G enabled smartphones, interestingly. The price of smartphones also, if you had noticed, had gone down in the last year, perhaps a move to spread the reach. And now the million dollar question, how much will it cost? Well, unfortunately, there isn't much clarity about the prices of 5G plans in India yet. They're expected to be slightly higher than what we are paying for 4G. However, India offers one of the world's cheapest internet services and 5G is unlikely to change that. That's everything you need to know about the 5G spectrum in under five minutes. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned to Money Control for more such updates.